the man of the moment in a rich vein of form and number one on the scoring charts can he do it again today live on ea tv and welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing every reason to believe this will be enthralling i'm derek ray and sharing commentary with me as usual is stuart robson and looking forward to bringing you action from the premier league coming right up it's the trojans and they take on blackburn rovers well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And goal news to bring you in the Brighton game. And Alex Scott has the details. It's a goal for Brighton. The goalkeeper did all he could, but no one was going to stop that one. It's now 1-0 with only four minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. It's a high-level tackle. Brilliant. Well, you certainly can't underplay how proficient the home side are in front of goal. Just... Oh, what a great chance this is, Derek. And tremendous goalkeeping. Well, he just made it so difficult for the striker. His presence alone just caused him a problem. He's driven in the corner. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Getting the better of his opponent. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. Joe Rothwell. And news of a goal at Anfield. Let's hear more from Alex Scott. It's a goal for Palace. It was a breathtaking finish. A shot from such a long way out. I think it totally surprised the goalkeeper. They've scored the opener here with 15 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. The switch of play now. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. It is to be a throw in. Well, I'm hearing the referee has pointed to the penalty spot in one of the other games. Let's hear more about it from Alex. Yeah, it was a penalty for Newcastle United. And I think he'd be counting his blessings because it's gone off the post and it's gone in. It's now one all with 28 minutes on the clock. Thanks for the update, Alex. Lenahan. <laughs> oh, big chance. And into the clutches of the goalkeeper. Well, not giving him any breathing room. Getting ready is Mishi Batshuayi. Well, clattered away. But it was completely miscontrolled. Disappointing. Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. So, 2-0 now. showing excellent vision well not making life difficult for the keeper at all wide attempt Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Well, no surprise there. The hosts have enjoyed most of the possession. Oh, they could put it away, Stuart. Well, far too much elevation there. Hey! 
So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. He'll have a go here. So the half-time whistle is sounded, and it. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. And just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. And let's join Alex Scott now, because Alex, I believe the situation has changed in the Newcastle game. And it's the second goal for Manchester City. Nice build-up play, and when the space opened up, boy, did he take it well. It's now 2-1 with 49 minutes played. And he's through here. And a goal! They're running riot here, almost out of sight. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. Well, unfortunately, we had to interrupt Alex just then. Apologies for that. Just to confirm, Manchester City did find the net in that match. And they're in front at the moment by two goals to one. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Well, here's a match coming up on EA Oh, they're TV. in here, Derek. It's opened up for him. In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. Uh, Foxing the defender. Getting ready is Michi Batshuayi. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. Not an especially strong challenge. Well, diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Substitution time it is. Who can he pick out? Might still be able to do a bit of damage. And thumped away. And a change to the scoreline at Anfield. Let's get all the information from Alex Scott. Yeah, it's... And in with a real chance. A goal! We're really being spoiled. This is attacking football at its finest. My goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Well, unfortunately, we had to interrupt Alex just then. Just to confirm, Liverpool have scored in that match. And their lead stands at 3-1. Oh, in with a chance. Well, the keeper was called upon and delivered. Well, he's so good in those 1v1 moments. And he's proved it yet again. He's driven in the corner. Well, still an issue here. It's a neat move. Perfect challenge. But I think it's time we joined Alex Scott because there's been a goal in the Brighton game. It's another for Brighton. The game's all level again at 2-2 with 72 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Well, you can tell what the fans think of that decision. They're certain it should have been a penalty. And for more on the injury, let's go down to our reporter, Jeff Shreves. Real concern for the Brents now, because it looks like he landed with his elbow underneath his body, and that's causing him some serious pain at the moment. Cheers, Jeff. The high press was on, and that's a fantastic tackle. Preferring to go infield, and a very good challenge. And no problems whatsoever for the goalkeeper. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Can he make it count? Oh, burying them beneath an avalanche of goals. No let up here. Well, I won't get tired of watching this. It's an outstanding bit of play. Just look how far he runs with the ball. That's a great goal.
Well, it's an out and out pasting, 6 0. Crivelli. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Fed through by Batshuayi. He's in position. And it's there for him. And up for grabs of the keeper. Well, what an opportunity, but really... And there goes the final whistle. And the home fans are going to...
Well, real excitement here. The signing has been completed, and we're about to see his debut. Will he hit the ground running? Hello, our action comes to you from the English Midlands, from the King Power Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And what better way to ring in the new year than with live football? It's Leicester City, and they take on the Trojans. And not a header that was ever really going to trouble the goalkeeper. Oh, he's through here. And a goal! Not wasting much time today. They strike first. And the Foxes get us moving again. A swift reply required after the setback. They've won back possession. Well, as we look at the table, the visitors have been dazzling us with their attractive brand of football, playing to their potential and then some, Stuart. Well, it may have surprised a lot of people, but when you see them play, you understand why they're top of the table. They defend well as a team, they win the ball back in good areas, and they look dangerous. And blocked for now. Can't get the shot through. Oh, lovely ball. Well, far from the cross he had in mind. Goal kick it is. Porto. He continues his run. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. Moving into the advanced position. Oh, surely. And there it is. A two-goal cushion now. And they just need to keep the concentration. So, 2-0 now. And that's how to dispossess your opponent. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Porto. A very good tackle. And crossed in there. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. convincing defensively and I think the threat has been averted that's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack well there you have it Leicester have controlled most of the possession but without really creating enough chances they've almost passed the ball for the sake of it they need to start getting it into their front players much quicker to get back into this right let's join Alex Scott for an update Alex I believe a goal at Anfield it's a goal for Wolves. It's now 1-0 with 39 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. On the ball, Jung. And take it away. And they're trying to get right into his face. Lucas. And it's with Tomasz Suchek. Another stoppage time situation. One minute here. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half. And back in business. Trojans very much bossing it in the first 45. Will we see more of the same in the second half?
Can they trouble the opposition this time? No way through. Andrade. There's been so much speculation in terms of whether the transfer would go ahead, but it will go ahead, Stuart. Well, I think it's a good move for him. He has great ability, but needs to be that little bit more consistent. I'd say it's a fair price as well. Guerrero. A room to Rome on the wing. Over the byline, hence a goal kick. Lucas. Untidy Lucas. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Really good challenge. And into the last 30 minutes now. Now the Trojans with the ball again. Oh, great vision. Really important tackle. It comes to absolutely nothing. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV, and we have more action coming up from the Premier League for you. It's Leicester City facing West Bromwich Albion. Well, that should be a really good game between two entertaining teams. Oh, they could be in here, Stuart. A really vital interception. And the cross is very much on. And he'll take... Make efforts like that all day long. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. And the danger cleared. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw in. Well, the final whistle approaching, and this has certainly been an away day to remember. Stuart, your assessment. Yeah, this has been a good performance. They've looked really sharp going forward, and they've shown a lot of... Oh, incredible save, and he snuffed out the danger. And the counter-attack is on, options available. And the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Well, the attack lacked a little bit of oomph. But he's got past his man. Firing it in. Still alive. And this might not be the ideal situation for them. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Well, just a quick reminder, more live football coming your way here on EA TV. I think you might enjoy this game. That looks a really entertaining game. Two good teams with two excellent coaches. I can't wait for that one to come round. Can they convert? And he's alone in the middle by the look of things. Oh, incredible save, and he snuffed out any sign of danger. A really sumptuous ball. The end product just wasn't there. And a fine tackle. And that is the end of the game. The referee blow.
Hello everyone, you know some footballers enjoy a rainy day, not sure fans always feel that way, but an exciting match in prospect nonetheless. My name's Derek Ray, and delighted to have alongside me as usual on these occasions, Stuart Robson. And it's all about, he's in with a chance. Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. Well, there's been a goal at the Etihad Stadium, and Alex Scott can give us the lowdown on that. It's a goal from Manchester City. They've scored the opener with five minutes played. Uh, and it might be. Oh, that is a superb save. Mane. Jota. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. Short corner favoured. Tremendous challenge. And this is how Liverpool start the game. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Trent Alexander-Arnold starts with Andrew Robertson in the wide defensive area. Oh, big moment here, Derek. Real chance. A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. Well, Liverpool restart the game. A wake-up call for them, perhaps. And Mohamed Salah now. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. You can't help feeling, when you look at the table, that when you're playing dominant football such as they have been, that they're going to lap the field. Well, there seems to be no stopping Oh, wait, Stuart, they might score! And up for grabs off the keeper! Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. The referee has let the advantage accrue to Liverpool. It's with Taylor. Liverpool in a position of menace. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Fernandes. Might be a chance here. The net is steering him in the face. No hiding from the fact that they really should have extended their lead. Well, that was a poor miss. Could they come to regret that? And Taylor. No real conviction in the challenge, but timely defending when it mattered.
Mane. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Had a chance to whip it in here. Can he make it count? Oh, a goal for Liverpool, who are now on level terms. So, a level contest. 1-1. Can they find a gap in the defence? As a go! Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? And there's the delivery. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. Can they forge ahead? No! Chance missed! And a big chance at that, Derek. He should have put them in the driving seat there. Mane Henderson and this is Diogo Jota now Andrew Robertson crisp tackling and one minute of stoppage time has been added on it is to be a throw in well the pass isn't going to worry the goalkeeper so the whistle then we're up And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. I think the referee was spot on there. A free kick in the end after he had attempted to play advantage. He plays it short. Henderson. Superb block. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. Henderson. Well, no way through. And steered back under a bit of pressure. But I think it's fair to say Monaco fans have been holding their breath, wondering if the deal was going oh, to... Big chance here, Derek. they kick off again 2-1 the current state of affairs and just hearing ball in the net at Stamford Bridge over to Alex Scott it's a goal for the Saints it's now 1-0 with 59 minutes gone the game has been fascinating so far Derek many thanks as ever Alex opportunity here and a goal the quick one too and they've turned this game on its head. Well, that's a tale of four goals in this match now. Three, one it is. Absolutely spot on, and they keep the ball. Diogo Jota. Well read to ease the pressure. And Liverpool might be able to cash in. Well, let's see if something comes of this. Credit to them for winning back possession. Now well, here's a match coming up on EA TV that I think you're going to want to join us for. Well, the now hold on, Stuart. They're in here. Can he finish? In it goes. A three-goal cushion. This is astonishing stuff. So back in action, the Trojans hold all the aces. This is turning into a trouncing.
running through. To the keeper. Mali's allowed it to go over the touchline, so a throw in. Elliot. And winning it back. Ten minutes left for play. Lovely work to get past his man. A Liverpool free kick coming up. Well, warned by the referee, but not cautioned. Well, he can't say he hasn't been warned now. That's good from the referee. So a personnel change then from a long way out. And how close it was. Well, when you can strike a ball like that, it's always worth a try. Gomez with it. Liverpool have it once again. Elliot, intense pressure. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. potential danger he might profit from here you know oh magnificent from the keeper fantastic stop and the referee blows for full time Mane
We're starting to get down to the nitty-gritty. Just four teams left in the Carabao Cup, and the stage is set for an absorbing semi-final. Stay with us. We'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is the semi-final first leg in the Cup. It's the Trojans versus Brighton and Hove Albion. Well, what a moment for both these teams. Just one step away from the final. But it's the visitors and their fans that are expecting to get through to the big day. But this is by no means an easy game for them. Can he put it away? And a goal! The opening statement in this semi-final. How important could that prove to be? And back underway. 1-0 it is. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Oh, a moment of pure class. Had to catch it perfectly, and didn't he just? Well, here we can see it again, and it starts with the ball over the top. Perfectly weighted, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Well, a second goal for them here. Lassina Traore could be troublesome oh lovely incisive pass oh keeper dealt with it he's got space played into the centre a deft clearance Well, it is an important occasion for any 17-year-old getting a chance to make your full senior debut. And, Stuart, there's been quite a lot of talk in the media about oh, it. Oh, can he finish it here, Derek? Promising attack, but his timing was off. Ledesma. Now, possession lost by the Trojans. Schmitz. And an astute piece of defending. And Trojans regaining possession. Not advantage with them. Referee says play on. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. And unable to hang on to the ball. That's good pressing for you. And they'll get ready for the throw in. Remo Freuler. Smuggled away. Good technique displayed. Remo Freuler. Defensive efficiency personified. Now well, Trojans could get in behind the defence. And whipped into the box. Oh, that is a majestic goal! Volleyed home with precision and style. Superbly done. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. And dispossessed. in terms of added time a minimum of one minute might be onto something with that ball and the whistle is sounded for a 
as anticipated plenty of talking points so far and now the second half is underway Alassan Playa. Now they've lost it. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Well, it petered out. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. Player. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Alba. Well, transfer speculation is all part of football, and there's been quite a lot of speculation on this front. But the deal has now been confirmed, Stuart. Yeah, I like the look of him. I think it's a good move for both him and the club. Let's hope he makes an impact fairly quickly. Now, well, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. March. Oh, he's through here. Oh, he wasn't ruthless enough in front of goal. Keeper has it now. Making sure nothing came of it. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. So a personnel change then. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw-in. Remo Freuler. Excellent challenge. Cross fired over. Not really the ideal clearance. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. And into the last 20 minutes. Well, as you can see, he makes it look... Easy in the end, but I think that's a good finish. He'll be pleased with that. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Making progress. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. And they will make the change now. And space for the cross. Well shown inside. But quick thinking defensively. Breaking at pace. chance here a goal we're really being spoiled this is attacking football at its finest well, my goodness it's so one-sided 5-0 in this match chance to attack using wit Played into the center. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Went in strongly to win the ball. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. Denis Undav deserves credit for winning the ball back. 
a meaty but fair challenge and it will be a throw in playing with purpose and control it's opening up for them so now a corner trying to pick out a teammate not messing around with that clearance full time then and the home side will carry with
And hello from the city of Portsmouth. Welcome to Fratton Park. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner, Stuart Robson. And live action to come from the oldest cup competition of them all, the FA Cup. It's Portsmouth versus the Trojans. Yes, cheers, Derek. Well, what an occasion it is for this club and its support. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. Well, a yellow card so early in this one, Stuart. Well, it doesn't matter how early it is in the game. That's a... Oh, really close. Just over the top. Powell. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. And he might be through here. And a goal it is. No long wait for the opener today. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Well, keeping it on the ground. Slightly off target, however. Can they create something? But not quite what was needed. I really thought they were going to open up the defence. Just cutting off the supply. Powell. Excellent challenge. And the emphasis is on creativity chance to finish it's in they're looking really relaxed and confident and not giving the opposition much of a look in so 2-0 now and out of play the pass nearly worked out but not quite superb effort to keep it in promising looking attack oh good play this can he take advantage? It's still alive. Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. A really top-notch piece of defending. Well, what a brilliant save that was. I can't believe he's kept that one out. Firing it towards goal. But the goalkeeper didn't have to work quite as hard as I thought he might initially. Unable to keep the ball that time. Well, the visitors have controlled possession, as you can see, and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football, and they look like scoring more. Oh, in with a chance! And a goal! There he is, at the double! They just can't subdue him! So, back in action, and fair to say the Trojans are accelerating away from their opponents. Nicely cut out. A very effective clearance. Oh, breezing past him. Opportunity it is. But I'll tell you what, that didn't miss by much. Committed challenge. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Something to worry about here. Tenacious tackling. Excellent defending there. This looks promising out wide. A glorious chance, and he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Trying to deliver it accurately, not the best clearance. And a time for composure on the ball. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages.
This attack looks highly promising. Oh, so near, off the post. A chance then for the respective manager. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Nicely timed tackle. Crossing possibilities. Play towards the back post. The crossbar got in the way. And he takes it on. Putting his body on the line. Chance here. Well, he couldn't quite hit the target, Stuart. Well, it's a decent effort, but I don't think it was ever going to trouble the goalkeeper. Well, there's been a lot of speculation as regards this transfer and whether it would go ahead. It's finally been confirmed, Stuart. Well, it's an exciting transfer, isn't it? He'll add a lot of quality to his new club, and you'd expect him to have an impact straight away. Good player and fair value for him, I think. Retaining possession proving difficult. Lovely ball over the top. Can he finish this? Now well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. They're just not cherishing the ball today. And into the last 30 minutes now. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Kieran Freeman. It's a neat move. Well, oh, that's a splendid piece of challenging. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. A lot of live football to come right here on EA TV. And I very much hope you can join us for this game. That should be a tasty encounter. Plenty of quality in those two sides. Certainly one to enjoy. He's lost it. An incisive pass. And played in. It's there for him. Well, only just wide of the post. And the substitution will occur now. Well, those stats back up what we've been watching. It's been a really one-sided game. And it's far too easy for them to open up this defence. This could turn into a rout. Splendid tackle and a throw-in coming up. Ronan Curtis. Shot attempted. The keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. Just ten minutes to go. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Can he take advantage? A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat-trick. Oh my goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Tremendous ball played through. But how well he did to cut that one out. Nicely timed tackle.
Now what can they do from here? Absolutely spot on and they keep the ball. There will be one minute added on at the end. There's the final whistle and the visitors. You can't really tackle.
cameras trained on one man. On the back of a hat-trick, will he continue to excel? The action is live on EA TV. Hello and a warm welcome to the South Coast. We find ourselves today at St. Mary Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company in the commentary box today is, of course, Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Southampton versus the Trojans. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. And here's how the lineup looks for Southampton. James Ward Prowse starts alongside Donny van der Beek in the centre of midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Well, the stats are there for all to see. The visiting side with the best defensive record in the league, and they do it with relish. Well, their defensive game plan is second to none this season, and that comes down to the coach and his work on the training field. That doesn't happen by now, chance. Now, hold on, Stuart. They're in here. Oh, not to be. An opportunity wasted early in the game. Well, maybe it's come a little bit too early, Derek, but that's a wasteful finish. the ball with James Ward-Prowse and space to exploit maybe Stevens. it will be now went in strongly, decisively he's taken on his opponent here oh excellent diving stop who can he pick out Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Oh, couldn't quite find his teammate. Goalkeeper should take charge. And that'll be the goalkeeper's ball. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Well, the attack looks promising. Must take the lead here. Oh, but he's missed it. How on earth is this still level? Well, I just don't know, Derek. Just a real lack of composure in the end. They should be ahead now. Are they going to forge ahead? And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Very difficult challenge to perform, but he succeeded. This is looking threatening. Dangerous ball. Well, the cross was deep, a little too deep. Good bit of pressing. Plays it back. Perfect challenge. Kleibert. And he read it superbly. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Well, a judgment call for the referee. Many an official would have cautioned him. Tilo Kera. Teammates in the middle. And over the top it goes. Close shave. Nearly at the break then, and the visitors have eked out a lead. Stuart, an opportune moment, I think, to get your assessment. Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going in at half-time if it stays like this. Corner conceded. It came off the defender. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, he'll be a bit deflated following that effort, but he was being tightly marked.
He will be. So the referee brings the first half to an end, and it's the visiting fans who'll be... The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Koita uh, foxing the defender, but was able to do his job defensively in the end. This might be ideal for the counter, but it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. Armstrong, that's a good-looking ball in behind. Well, it might still work out for them. Oh, and he puts away the second chance. Goalkeeper error. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Dangerous looking attack. And there is the goal to re establish their advantage. Well, underway again, it's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. Just possessed there. Tremendous piece of tackling. Can they take advantage? He's in position. And fired against the crossbar. Blocking it. He's trying to create something. Well, it's a tale of four goals in this match now. 3-1 it is. And a strong tackle. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. Oh, brief. A real opening now. In it goes! He's made it a brace for himself. No stopping him, apparently. Goals in plentiful supply, 4-1 currently. Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Surely! Oh, excellent timing stop. And over it comes. Corner kick forthcoming. <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. Another goal! The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. A glut of goals. 5-1 it is. So on the cusp of the final whistle, and the visitors very much in command, Stuart. Well, what an excellent performance this has been. They've had complete control for most of the game. Their movement, clever passing and energy have been a joy to watch. It's been a really good win for them. And taking it away. Well, Manchester City have been busy in the transfer market. The contract situation finally ironed out, and he could be available very soon, Stuart. Well, I think he'll fit in well to their style of play. He's a skillful player, but the move will just bring out the best of him. It's oh, a wait a minute. They could well be in.
Our camera lens trained on one man. Will he shine against his former club? We're live next, so don't go anywhere. Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray, and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. Opportunity it is. Oh, not to be. An opportunity wasted early in the game. Well, maybe it's come a little bit too early, Derek, but that's a wasteful finish. And teammates to play it to. Well, it wasn't a great header, in all fairness. And a goal kick it is. Strong but fair tackle. You can't help feeling when you look at the table that when you're playing dominant football such as they have been, that they're going to lap the field. Well, there seems to be no stopping them at the moment. They've been by far and away the best team. Unless something drastic happens, I can't see how they let this slip. Just possessed there. Tremendous piece of tackling. Now Trojans being afforded too much space. Could be... Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Well, a good tackle. And intercepted it. Well, there's no getting away from it. This is the man so many people have been focusing on ahead of this particular game. Facing his former club, facing his past. And oh, he's in behind them here, Derek. Oh, it's in! A two-goal cushion now, and the lead fully merited. Well, a second goal for them here. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Opportunity! Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Cruz. Oh, moving it nicely. And it goes! A three-goal cushion, and you truly sense it's a matter of how many. So back in action, the Trojans hold all the aces. This is turning into a trouncing. Can he put it away? In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. Blistering first half display. And just look at that score. Slack. Corner conceded. It came off the defender. Now sending it in. And he clears the danger. And players waiting in the centre. A decisive clearance it was. Well, racing past his man. And cleared away. And dispossessed. Well, not the pass he had in mind. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. No problems for the keeper. And there it is, the half-time whistle.
And the second half underway, what we saw in the first 45 was a spellbinding display by Trojans. Are we in for more of the same? Just the challenge that was required. Ings. Couldn't keep the ball. Lyon have been very active on the transfer front. It's all official now. The deal's been done. Great news for their supporters, oh, you've got to say, Derek. Oh! 